Hello, Shahara here at the FMI Buzz Center. I have a very special guest. So why don't you tell me your name, your title, and what brought you to FMI Connect? Thank you. My name is Keith Weich, uh, and I'm an author of several books. Good is Not Enough is one of my more popular books. Uh, and I'm the former president of Acme Markets and Cub Foods in the grocery retail space. Okay, so we're talking about food retail and innovation. So how would you define innovation in food retail? You know, innovation takes a couple flavors. First, it's product innovation. And so I think more about the prepared meals uh, because more and more, you know, working moms and uh, young millennial women don't cook as often and so they want prepared meals. And so that's one big innovation from a product standpoint. However, from a supply chain standpoint, a lot of it is revolved go to market is relative to uh, omni-channel. So being able to order online, pick up at store, order online, uh, have home delivery. So there's a lot of innovation uh, around how we get our products and services to the shopper. Now, what innovations have you noticed lately that are affecting the way people are shopping? By far, I would say online online shopping for groceries. Uh, there is a large uh, population of busy workers who will go online and order those groceries and pick them up on the way home or before work. Uh, and so I think that's probably one of the bigger innovations I see right now impacting the industry. Now, households aren't shopping for food as they normally have. Uh, you rarely see one person or two people equally shopping at a time. So based on your experience, uh, what are some of the trends that are going to help people be more efficient shoppers? Well, you have to realize that, to your point, you're absolutely right. There's no more primary shopper. There's a primary shopper that's the woman. There's secondary shoppers. I mean, all types. And what we have to understand is you have to get the shopper when they want, where they want, and how they want. Uh, my millennial children want to do everything online uh, and actually get coupons in the store online. Uh, I'm old school. You know, I should like to pick out my produce, so I doubt I'll ever be a home shopper. But you really uh, have to understand who your customer is and what they want. And it's no longer a cookie cutter, one size fits all. And so you really have to understand the customer. So what is your personal shopping experience like? Well, my thing is fresh, right? Because at the end of the day, uh, center store is center store, but I'm really focused on fresh produce, quality produce. Uh, and so I tend to shop probably three times a week uh, because I want that freshness, uh, particularly in produce and meat. Uh, and so there, you know, there's no longer that once a week stock up trip for me. It's, it's two to three times a week I'm in the grocery store shopping. Now, FMI Connect is Connect for a reason. So who are you most focused on connecting with while you're here? I am most focused on connecting with millennial leaders uh, in the grocery retail space. I want to understand their challenges. I want to help them develop uh, and really excel in grocery retail uh, and for them to appreciate that retailing is a great career that really has uh, rewards that last a lifetime.